Hello everyone. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the case prep center here on the Burst Fire 2-in-1 annealing machine and case prep center. Pretty straightforward, but let's get, get into more details. So on, on top of you know, using, you know, using these through the standard operations, one, two, and three will operate at standard speed, right? Um, and, but the fourth one here, what we had done is we reduced the speed, you know, the, um, the speed, not as torque, but the speed uh, by 50%, right? Because there are things, I mean, personally, right? Uh, whenever, whenever I use the regular attachment, whether it's ours or something else, um, you know, when it's, you know, like a primer pocket uniformer, right? And when, you know, when I use these things that spin as fast as they do, um, they, you know, it, it does, it doesn't usually give me a clean cut. <laughs> um, so for, so I always, and, you know, prior to building this, I always end up, you know, uniforming my primer pockets by hand, right? Um, you know, using the hand tool and I twist it by hand because these things spin so fast that it doesn't give you the level of precision that you're looking for to get an even clean cut. And same thing with the, um, flash hole uniformer. Um, because it's spinning so fast that you can't, you know, accurately or precisely put this thing in there and then try, you know, for bigger cases, you know, uh, attempt to, you know, um, find the flash hole, right? It's just, it's just a difficult task. Um, but what, you know, but once, you know, but what, you know, but once we're able to reduce this by 50%, now these things become possible. All right, so let's have a quick demonstration. Now let's take a two, two, three brass and let me demonstrate. There you have it. Now that we have shown you how to use this thing stood upright, let's uh, show you how to work this thing laid down on the handle in the back. On top of that, we have steel handle here um, that, you know, allows you to carry it, uh, easily carry it. Although these things are quite compact and they're very light, but nonetheless, uh, you don't have to grab it from the bottom. Here is a handle here um, that you can grab it, store it away, or, you know, take it to your next bench. But another purpose of the handle is so you can lay it flat on its back. And, you know, some like it upright, some like it laid down, and we have seen both kind of prep centers, and there's a reason why there's both, right? There's ones that are stood upright, there are ones that are laid flat, um, some are concerned with, you know, the angle, um, you know, some like this way better, some like it stood, stood upright, um, and, you know, and it also, you know, is highly dependent on your bench setup, your, you know, your, you know, your bench top depth and your seating height right whether you're standing or sitting or if you have a adjustable chair or not all that uh play you know huge factor in how comfortable it is right if you're sitting down and you have a low chair and you have you know it stood up right and your prep center is at an angle where um you know where it makes you uncomfortable right over when you're you know um prepping a large amount, a large batch of brass, eventually your arm's gonna get tired because you're holding your arm up the entire time. Versus if you're sitting down at the right angle, at the right height, and it's right in front of you, um, you know, that makes it very comfortable, right? Uh, but it's personal preference, and obviously we thought of that, and for me personally, um, you know, I go back and forth, right? There, you know, there are times that where I don't feel like sitting up, standing up the entire time or, um, you know, lifting my arms and, you know, and, and I just want, you know, I have an adjustable chair. So I sit down and, um, uh, adjust the height to the, you know, to the right, you know, to the correct height and I can sit here for hours. Um, and, you know, and some, you know, prospective customers have asked like, Hey, um, you know, sitting you know laying down at the angle facing you doesn't that cause the um you know the you know 
brass at a you know at wrong angle and you know uneven chamfer? The answer is no. And let me demonstrate here. All right, so as you can see, you know, this really isn't an issue. Um, and they have also mentioned how this may bend, right? Um, obviously, if you're working at, you know, uh, I'm not sure what angle you would need to be to bend this. Uh, and if you do, you're likely doing something wrong, right? And another concern that, um, you know, other prospective customers before purchasing it have said like you know doesn't the hose um, get in the way doesn't the torch get in the way if it's laid down the answer is a very obvious no right they're on they are on the opposite side the handle is in the back there is a huge gap uh where it is standing on you you know you can easily tuck your hose down there if you want if it's somehow getting in the way but there's just no way it's it would get in the way, right? It's on the opposite side, um, and as you can see, it's you know it's you can put it in, you know it doesn't get in, in you know in it doesn't interfere with the operation in any way, right? So it's really a non-concern. Um, you can even you know take a rubber band and uh, or a zip tie and tie you know you know kind of wrap them up or whatever it is or simply detach it right from from you know from this thing it's just a quick twist you detach it if it bothers you um but again i'm not sure why you would you know anyone would want to do that you know uh, to begin with right as it does not interfere with the operation or get in the way in any way um uh, well that's about it um you know thanks for watching check our website check our products